God is not about to send somebody into your life when he knows that you're not prepared to handle all the challenges that come with it. Marriage is a very important institution and it's not the wish of God that you enter today and tomorrow you're already frustrated and begging to pull out. You need to be mentally, psychologically, spiritually, emotionally and otherwise ready for it before God would send it your way. It is possible that there is still something he wants you to learn, something he wants you to achieve before he brings your spouse your way. Today we have more failed marriages compared to the successful ones. Nobody wants to be patient enough to bear all the challenges that comes with having a spouse. Hence the increase in divorce cases. The Christian marriage is something different and God would never want you to leave your marriage even when your partner cheats you. So he is going to prepare you and only when he is satisfied with your progress would he send your spouse to you. So my dear, instead of feeling sorry for yourself, why not put away the thought of marriage and a spouse away for a while and open your heart to Jesus to teach you what he wants you to learn during the stage of being single. It is also the best time that you have to be the best version of yourself. It is the time that you have to learn what would be useful in the future. It is also the time that you can use to be the kind of partner that you want to have. And when the time is right, the Lord would do it. Even though we don't like hearing this, it is still the truth. You might look at your age and feel that you are enough and ripe for marriage. But still God has not sent your destined spouse. The book of Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 1 says, to everything there is a season and a time for every matter or purpose under heaven. God will not send you your spouse when he knows that the time is not yet right. He owns seasons and time in his hand and only him is capable of knowing when the time is right. God is never too late or too early. He is always on time. When you can look at it from this perspective, you would realize that you would no longer be bothered with the fact that you are single. You would also be able to use this time that you have for another purpose that God has given to you when the Bible already said that the expectations of the righteous cannot be cut short. So why do bother? God is going to fulfill every word that he has said over your life. The word of God also confirms this by saying in the book of Isaiah chapter 60 verse 22, when the time is right, I the Lord will make it happen. So it's certainly going to happen, you just need to be patient and wait for it. Although marriage is beautiful and God himself created the institution of marriage, he created us with the need for the intimacy. He still don't want anything to take his place in our lives and he still wants you to realize that his love is all you need and that the love of a spouse is just a bonus. It's okay to ache for a spouse. It is normal in the life of every human being because of the need for intimacy that Christ has already put in us. However, God wants to be enough for you while you wait. The problem with most singles today is that because of the need of a spouse, they have concluded that Christ does not love them and they doubt his love because of the gift of a spouse. They become distant from God and this need for a spouse has become so important that they no longer see themselves as a whole and complete. Beloved, until you reach that stage that you begin to see that the love of Christ is enough for you, you would continue to wait a long time until you realize that you are complete and whole and that singlehood is a gift that Christ has given and wants you to accept it for now and be okay with his love for you while you wait. God would still be withholding your spouse. There is no greater love than his love for us and no human is capable of feeling that space of emptiness that you are feeling except the love of the Father. This is one of the very important reasons why God is withholding your spouse from you. Many single want a spouse because all their friends are getting married. Some because they want to escape their home because of family problems and pressure. Others want a spouse because they want to have children or they just want to feel that excitement that comes on your wedding day. You know that flamboyant ceremony, your clothes and how you'd be the center of attraction that day this few reasons and many others that the singles of these days consider as their reason for getting married even though you would never admit it to anyone when you look down inside and think it through you would realize that your reason for wanting a spouse are all wrong. God is not a man that is deceived by your words rather he's someone who searches the in depth of your heart and blesses you accordingly. God is not about to bring someone that you are only going to suffer after 
you must have fulfilled your purpose of having them in your life. So my dear, as you're still trusting God to bring that person to your life, also pray that if you are having the wrong motive for marriage, that he changes it and puts the right reasons within you. Having a spouse and being married can be a beautiful place to be when both partners have the right reasons for being together. If there is one thing that I've come to realize in my life so far, is that when you're too desperate and anxious for anything, then it never comes or when you get it that time, you would later do something wrong that would destroy it. Why become desperate over something that you have little control over? Why become anxious? And when eventually you don't get it, you become depressed. And it's from that place of depressions that you begin to blame, condemn and doubt God. You begin to see that his love for you is not complete because he has not blessed you with a gift of marriage. Beloved, I've come to realize that letting something that you have little control over become the purpose of your life, you become frustrated and the devil uses it as an opportunity to steal your joy. The devil has come to kill, steal and destroy and he would use any means possible to steal and destroy any form of joy that you're having if you let him. Philippians chapter 4 verse 6 Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. Also Matthew chapter 6 verse 27 And which of you by being anxious can add a single cubit to his lifespan? There is nothing you being desperate and anxious can achieve, so instead, why not trust God? Desperation has made many singles settle for what is less because they cannot wait. And now they want to pull it out, which is not the wish of God for believers. Still out of desperation, you become sad and cry. You despise God because he would not give you what you want, but you forget that when you despise God and flee away from his presence, you only make yourself to suffer even more because his presence is what gives peace and comfort to all your broken heart. And while you wait, he would be ready to meet you in the middle of your longing for a spouse and with him by your side, you will eventually meet the one. God is supreme and he knows what he is doing until when you get to that point where you fully trust God and let his will in your life be done, would you be truly able to find the wholeness that comes from being single. It's a gift, so use it judiciously and when you're done, he would definitely send your spouse. So also don't forget that when you pray, there are three things he does. He might say take, wait or know all for your good. Stay blessed. God has said several words over you, and he has said that what you lay your hands upon shall prosper, and this includes marriage. God loves you, and so he will lead you right. He will lead you to the right person to marry, and help you both navigate the tactics of keeping a healthy and great marriage.